Ken Roxon is about to conquer it. Unbelievable in his first year in the class. 20 years old. What could the be in the future for this guy? How many of these things could he knock down? They have more experience next year. It's only going to be harder to beat him. Yes, it looked a little dire at times. Ryan Dungey put in a valiant effort to try to win his third championship in this division and his fourth ever in the sport com you know, combining the two classes. But Ken Roxon, relying maybe a little bit on that European experience, beat him in the mud last week at Indiana. And he did not have to go out here and win today. He was able to bring it home third place in the first moto, fourth place here in moto two. That will be more than enough to give him the title. Good job, buddy. Congratulations. Well, I think the point that we're really going to drive home is he gets to the white flag. He's normally rookies. They're fast. The consistency is an issue. Roxon, no worse than fourth in any moto this year. But he's also not your average rookie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, when you come in as the youngest world champion, youngest rider to win a world championship race, won a, a you know, lights title in Supercross. I mean, he's done everything. Almost got to Tomac last year. He's been close. This, you feel like, is something he's obviously earned. And in a, in a weird way, I think it was only a matter of time before this happened. I, I won't say he was due it, but a rider like him, you knew he was going to win. It was only a matter of when. And take my hat off to Ryan Dungey and Trey for ending off fantastic. Great ride for this guy. Oh, absolutely. And those big changes to the bike pay off. Trey Kennard, for the first time, has won nice. an overall the 450 class four years since he has won any race in motocross. And the fans love that. We focus back on Ken Roxon. Now, Kenny, known as a real fun-loving guy off the track. You follow him on Instagram. And I think there have been times through the years where people have wondered, yeah, he's fast, yeah, he's talented, but does he take it seriously enough? Does he want it bad enough? Well, he went out and hired the baddest trainer in the business, Alden Baker. He has put in the work. Season for us starts in January at Supercross, and he's brought it home. Don't let the attitude make you think he doesn't want it that bad. I'm a laid-back guy myself, but I wanted this bad, bad my whole life. And right now, he got he might have felt like he had an opportunity last year in the 250s, but got beat by Eli Tomac. He's won in Supercross over here. He's won races. But right now, this is Ken Roxon's moment. He will be the 2014 champion, and he has earned it. Absolutely. Strong, solid all year. The rookie riding like a veteran, and the German has become the champion in America. Ken Roxon is your national champion in the 450 class.